Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan Stuman with HardcoreCloser.com and I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to disrupt the industry. See, a lot of people out there talking about building funnels, building systems and generating online leads, but they don't tell you what exactly to do with them. I'm going to give you my three-step formula on how I work every single lead that comes through my funnel and what top producers that work with me are also doing, so just stick around. Okay, so for those of us that are in real estate or mortgages, every time we get a lead, we want the immediate fix, right? We want to immediately get them to sign an application for a mortgage or immediately sign a buyer's representation contract or a seller's contract or something like that. But oftentimes, when people are making this huge financial decision about buying a house, they got to think about it for a while. They got to put all their ducks in a row, get their finances in order, and it takes a while. Of course, if you've been doing this for any period of time, you already know this. But oftentimes, when people get leads and they don't lead to something immediately, when they don't come to fruition or turn into a commission check, immediately Immediately, what people do is they do, they drop them. And what happens when you drop something? Just like I disappeared, then they disappear, you disappear, they don't think about you, you don't think about them. Maybe you rely on your like really shitty CRM system to follow up with them and send them some hi, maybe you're still thinking about buying a house, emails or whatever, right? But here's the deal, every lead is gold. Right? But see, so many people don't understand this. They think, well, if the lead doesn't fill my immediate need, I don't have any need for it. Right? If it doesn't make me money immediately, I don't want anything to do with it. But every lead has gold in it as long as you know how to leverage a lead. So what I'm going to do today is teach you how to work a lead in three steps. I don't know how much you can see in my little fancy white page here. Let's just turn this into birds. Anyway, so... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you three steps on how I work every single lead. So first of all, you got a lead right here, right? So somehow you generated that thing. You got a name, email address, and hopefully a mobile phone number because, like, who's calling landlines these days, right? Nobody. nobody. They may be calling them, but nobody's answering them, right? But we want to be able to text people. So the first thing that we do is we get a lead. We get in contact with that lead, right? We say, hey, let's set up a time to talk. Let's find out what, what we can do to help you, blah, blah, blah. And while we're on that time, that takes you from step one right here is getting the lead. Step two is talking to that lead after you've contacted them and finding out their need. Now you might write mortgages and they may need to sell their home. So that you may think as a loan officer, well, there's no benefit or no money coming to me because I don't get paid when I sell a home. I, get, I don't get paid when people sell their home. I get paid when people buy a home and use me, the bank, as their mortgage lender, right? So you might say, well, you know what? I can't feel the need of that lead, so I'm just going to let it go. But that's when step three really comes in, and that's your network. See all these like really cool people that I drew right there, right? That's your network. So if you're a loan officer, you have real estate agents, and guess what real estate agents like? Sellers, they like sellers a hell of a lot more than buyers because think about it. A buyer, you got to get in the car, you got to show them multiple houses, everything else. A seller, you go over there, you close them, put a sign in the front yard, and you market it online. It's real simple. All the top producing real estate agents that I know focus 100% of their time on sellers. Matter of fact, oftentimes they'll subsidize the buyers to a buyer's agent, right? They'll put somebody on their team that's a buyer's agent. So if you have a lead as a loan officer of someone who wants to sell their house, you might think, well, it doesn't do me any good. You might not want to generate leads of people who want to sell their house because you think that's not beneficial to your business, but you're wrong. Because see, if you're a loan officer and you want to get in front of top producing real estate agents, you have to give some sort of bait, some sort of, 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 of what we call the cheese on the mouse trap, right? You have to give them some sort of incentive to want to do business with you. And if you're trying to get in front of a top producing real estate agent and you're saying, hey, let me give you some buyers, what you're saying is, hey, let me give you a shit ton of work for half the price of what you're normally used to doing. Let me double your workload, right? Not everybody's looking for more buyers, right? And so if you're a loan officer, you're generating buyer leads, you're going after the top producers and you can't figure out why they won't send you business, it's because they're focused on sellers. So just because a lead doesn't need to buy a house and you're a loan officer, or maybe a lead needs to refinance their house or something like that and you're a real estate agent, but what you do is you leverage your network. If you're a real estate agent and you get a lead that needs to refinance or a lead that just needs to get somebody off the title in a divorce situation or whatever, why not take that lead towards a loan officer that you know is advertising, somebody that you know has a steady flow of leads so that you can reciprocate with them. I send you a lead. You send me a lead. That's how this works. The best places for real estate agents to find loan officers like that is A, through my network, first of all, but second of all, through Zillow, through Lower My Bills, anywhere where loan officers would advertise, you might as well jump in on that bandwagon as a real estate agent and take care of it as well. But the whole key into working every Every lead is networking, right? It doesn't matter if they if the, someone came through your funnel, they thought they wanted to buy a house, but really all they needed to do was landscape. Find a landscaper, fill that need for that person, become their hero, and then leverage that landscaper to give you some business too because he's mowing a lot of houses, and at some point, somebody he knows is going to sell theirs too. So if you dug this, you understand it, the three-step process, and more importantly, you're going to implement it, share this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe at the hardcorecloser.com blog. I really like when people give me their email address so I can send you really cool videos like this on a regular basis. But all said and done, this little three-step system, generating leads online, all that stuff is absolutely worthless and useless and a futile waste of money if you don't implement the strategies that you learned here today. So have a good one.